Hey team, Coach Alexa here. So I wanted to talk about hip anatomy in today's video. And if you've been watching the whole series, you'll realise that a lot of this overlaps with upper leg anatomy and pelvic anatomy. And that is because the hips are where the whole of the leg attaches to our pelvis and therefore to the torso and the rest of our body. So they're really, really key joints in terms of our, our movement um, and in terms of how our kind of whole body reacts, basically how the upper body attaches to the lower body. So let's just have a look at the position of these hip sockets as a bit of a recap. So Lucene in my uh, videos about the pelvis that the hip sockets are kind of at the front and to the side of the, um, the pelvic area. So they're a little bit more towards the front than people often think. People think that it's the bony bit on the outside of their kind of hip joint, like by the seam in their trousers that is their hip. But that's actually this bit here called the greater trochanter, which is a big sort of bony area that is developed on the top of our thigh bone, our femur, um, basically as an attachment point for loads of muscles, which we'll come on to in a minute. The actual hip is much further in. So you can only really sort of get a sense of where the hip joint is if, uh, if you're sat down, if you've got like, where the creases in your trousers, where there's the bend in between your thigh and your pelvis, the, the kind of a 90 degree angle there. If you stick your kind of fingers right in the front there, you'll just about be getting in touch with the stuff over the top of this hip joint at the front. They're a bit more further forward than you think. As I mentioned in a previous video, when people say put your hands on your hips, where you're actually putting your hands is right up here on the top of the side of your pelvis. So this is the, the kind of bony anatomy. So let's look at the muscular side of things. So this diagram, uh, all of them are quite stripped away here. So there are a lot of the bigger leg muscles which have been uh, removed for the purposes of these diagrams, more to show that stuff attaches around the hip. And as you can see here, this is the hip joint in here actually not much attaches on the hip joint itself. They're using this bit and other aspects on the inside edge of the femur to attach. So they're attaching on top of this greater trochanter and they're muscles that stabilize uh, predominantly that are coming acrosswards here. So these are adductors covered in the previous video that move the leg inwards away from the center line. This is the rear view looking from behind you. And we've got a lot of the deep glute muscles that are again attaching, attaching around this greater trochanter on the outside area of your hip, which move the leg away from the center line and also rotate it outwards. Um, so these are muscles predominantly concerned with moving this hip joint. We've also got some really deep hip flexor muscles that you can't access at all with, with as, as a massage therapist. I can't access them at all. They come down the inside of your lower back, the inside of the back of your pelvis, and then connect onto the um, inside here of the thigh bone. Um, can't really reach them at all and these ones are hip flexors so they will be lifting your, your leg in, up and in front of you, your knee up and in front of you from the hip socket. So there's a huge amount that this hip does. It's, it's stabilizing. You can see all these muscles that are attaching in all sorts of different directions to provide the stability. But it will also obviously be a joint that's heavily involved in our running, uh, our walking, uh, cycling, swimming, because the leg is moving forwards and backwards from that hip socket in order to move us forwards. So what differentiates us from our sort of four-legged um, uh, fellow creatures is that we have a lot more work to do with these stability muscles, which is why they're so, so key. A couple of other things to highlight on this diagram because it is connected into some of these hip stabilizing muscles here. This yellow bit here is our sciatic nerve, so it comes out of the lower back, which you'd have seen on one of my previous videos, but it goes right through the middle of all these muscles in your bum. So often why we get um, a sciatic pain or sciatica is muscular related type muscles here. Um, we spend a lot of time sitting in day-to-day -day life and this means that these muscles will be in an elongated position, the muscles in the bottom, uh, therefore they'll likely get a little bit weaker. These muscles, the hip flexor muscles, are in a, a shortened position, so they get a little bit tighter. So it's worth just working on our, our hip mobility a little bit with some gentle stretching and also just not spending too much time sat down because that's not great for the musculature around the hip joint. Anyway, I hope that's really useful. Whistle stop tour of hip joint anatomy. Uh, next, we'll be going further up the body into the spine. Looking forward to seeing you then.